Let's just do impressions for the first 30 seconds. This is my Pop Smoke impression. Yeah, it's me, Pop Smoke. I'm hopping at the dotty. I'm putting up in the dotty. I'm in the bin of the party. Jump in the house. Jump in the house. Jump in the house. That? Jump in the beat. Is that Playboy Cardi? Yeah. I'm jumping in the party. This is my Jay Z impression. Uh, yeah. I'm out in the party. Out showing with some shorties. Uh, I'm out here with Yeezy. Uh, I'm trying to link with. <laughs> Jesus. Jeezy. I'm trying to link with Jesus. Uh. God damn, Jimmy. This is some serious going made shit. <laughs> He peed on my rug. I'm his walker. It's impossible. Don't you ever step. Wow. Hey, Ma, we get some meatloaf. Sweet. <laughs> what about mine? Dude, what does mine say? <laughs> Sweet. The show goes on. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Blue face, baby. Liquid Death, sponsor me if that was a good Jay-Z impression. Yeah, I. I'm all up for it. So we went to Harmon's yesterday, right? Yesterday. Yeah. And I had a gift card, bro, because, you know, my friend's mom gave me a gift card because she's sweet. Nicole, thank you for that gift card. I know you're watching this. Um, I appreciate it. And so we're walking in. I've been looking for Liquid Death for a long time. Why? Why have I been looking for Liquid Death? Mm -mm. What's so special about it? Mm -mm. Nothing. It's just in a can. And it looks like alcohol, but it's really just mountain spring water. So I want to move that just directly out of the at the start. I want to just get that out of the way. I'm 18. I'm not drinking, bro. No it drinking. looks like alcohol. I'm not drinking alcohol, dude. No drinking here. We're sober boys. It's sober, sober boy summer. Sober boy summer. Sober, sober, nah. sober boy life. Yeah, it's sober boy life. Hot boy summer. Sober boy summer. Sober boy life, man. And so we that's should. what it is. And it's just mountain spring water. So don't go. Don't go. Oh, no, no, no. What's the trend for fall? Fall? F fat. F boy fall. F boy fall. <laughs> but that, that, no, we're not F boys. It's the same. Well. One of us is. Who is it? James. Guess. James. Out of us two. Drop your comments. Who do you think the F boy is out of us two? Spoiler. It's Tyson That's Gasper. Cap. Um, so welcome to the podcast. This is my roommate, Tyson Gasper. Follow him on Instagram um, at whatever your Insta handle is. What Just is Tyson it? Tyson Gasper. Just Tyson Gasper. Go figure it out. It's with an E, too. It's not with an O. Yeah, different roommates and best friends and lovers all tied into one little little bow one little present and that's what the podcast is and we're here man on a beautiful monday afternoon i took a nap from about eight o'clock until a, around about 11 o'clock in the morning now i know what you're wondering brock what the f does that even mean you know you took a nap at 8 o'clock a.m.? Sure did, man. Sure did. I sure did, dude. I, w I woke up at 5.30, went and worked out, came home, made breakfast, read a couple pages out of my book that I might talk about later if we need some content, and I crashed, dude, at 8 a.m. I took a nap at 8 a.m., woke up at 11 a.m., and that's one of the strangest kind of uh, experiences, like feelings that I've ever felt, to be honest. Have you ever stayed up all night and then passed out at like eight and then yeah like the same type of situation but obviously. yeah I've done that one time and it was did you guys do like a senior sunrise I know you're from like what are you from uh, Idaho Argentina oh so do they you don't do like a senior sunrise I don't know my school definitely didn't know so at my school which we now know is superior to yours at my school we did this thing called senior sunrise and basically it was the junior class so like i would have been a junior not graduated mm -hmm. but like it would be the end of my junior year so like when the class above me was graduating so their like graduation during night COVID time yeah so it would be their graduation and that class would go into the mountains somewhere because there's lots of mountains around where i live mm -hmm. go there at like eight o'clock ish and then stay out all night and then watch the sunrise the next day and it's like oh we're seniors now so it's like senior sunrise mm. that's cool it was honestly kind of tight it's honestly one of the sickest things ever dude because it's just you and your whole class just chilling yeah and my my class a lot of them left like i stayed the whole night but most people didn't but like at the very start when we all got there we were like it was like our entire class were like we were like holding hands in like a kumbaya circle and around this fire and we were like talking and being like, like doing some like 
first day of camp like vibes you know what i mean mm-hmm. and it was lovely dude because it was like the weird kids it was like the athletes like me the kid in between the like in between. like everybody was just palling around and having a good time you know and it kind of drew us closer together i feel like it was it was a good experience and then i stayed out all night um we jumped in this uh pond and this girl needed shorts she wanted to jump in the pond but she didn't have like shorts or something mm-hmm. and so i was just going in my underwear and she was like yo can i take your shorts i was like yeah sure so she wore my shorts and then got them soaking wet and then they weren't dry so i just stayed in my underwear the whole night i had on no pants the entire night and then yeah finally put them back on went to the top of this mountain checked out the sunrise and then went and crashed at like 8 a.m and he says i'm the one getting girls he has girls asking him for his shorts remember that that's how you know you've really made it is when women are asking you for your shorts exactly i don't know if you guys have ever experienced something like that obviously i have and it's a visceral experience it's like uh you know that's what makes you a man it truly yeah it's a it's a rite of passage having a woman ask you for your shorts yeah that has to be that's how you become a man so i'm still a little boy yeah you're still just a tiny little little piss boy little (laughs) little piss boy your mommy's a little (laughs) b-boy got a little piss baby yeah, and I'm a real man. I'm a Chad right now. He's a Chad right now. I am a Chad. Did you do an overnight party? What do you mean? Uh, we did a senior on or a senior all night party. Usually they would do it um, at the school, but we ended up doing it this thing called the Mech in Pocatello. Mm-hmm. It's like an all purpose kind of like gym. So there's like basketball yeah. courts, like volleyball courts, a bunch of stuff like that. When did you do it? Um. After graduation. Oh, it was after? Yeah, so we no. had graduation in the morning, hung out <clears> for the day, and then at 9 p.m., we all met there and hung out, kicked it, and then um, it got over at 4, and that was, like, the last time we saw everybody. Really? Yeah, I just haven't talked to anybody since graduation, really. It was it was a cool thing, though, because we had, like, mechanical bowl. Um, for real? Yeah, there was, like, That's mock funny. blackjack tables. Really? Yeah, getting us ready for adulthood. Yeah, <laughs> really throwing you gambling. in there with some knowledge, yeah. Um, Are you a good gambler? I've never actually gambled. I've played poker before. I played poker all the time with my friends over really? quarantine, yeah. I don't know how to play poker. I didn't either, and I'm, I'll am i probably forget if I try to play again, but blackjack was really fun, and really? I feel like if we go to Vegas sometime soon, I'm losing all of my money on it. We should. When are we going to go to L.A.? Oh, yeah, we should. That'd be fire. Um, Fall break? Fall break? That's in October. Is I might be able to swing that. A week. Maybe. We'll figure it out. That's not really podcast uh, stuff. What should we... So, the biggest news, I guess, that we could talk about is... Donda. 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 Don't know if you guys have heard of Donda. If you haven't, I'm pretty sure most people have. Yeah. I think it had over 100 million streams. Yeah, we'll talk today. about that, dude. But, like, um, so Donda, if you are living under a rock, is Kanye West's newest project, newest album. And I've been talking about it on this podcast for the past, I don't know how long. <laughs> However many weeks, it's been kind of a, a big deal. But for those that don't really know what it's about, I'll just kind of give, like, a, a quick little intro. So Donda... Was supposed to release two years ago, I think, in 2019, yeah. or maybe 2020. I can't remember. It maybe. was supposed to release like uh, some number of years ago. It was 2019. 2019, and so he was like, "Yeah, Donda's gonna drop this like day," and then it just never dropped. And then, which Kanye does all the time, constantly, every single project is late mm-hmm. by some amount. <laughs> um, and so then. I don't know how, like, the rumors got started. Oh, there was, like, a... The, the There was, like, tickets for some listening party. Like, a Kanye West listening party in Atlanta that just went for on sale for some reason. No announcement or anything. It just popped yeah, up. Yeah, Kanye never said anything. Websites. Yeah. Nobody said anything, but all of a sudden on these ticket websites, there was, like, a listening party in Atlanta for some... I don't know how they knew it was tied to Kanye, but... It might have said it. Somehow they knew it was Kanye's. And so people got tickets and went to Atlanta. And it was like the Donda album listening experience or something like that. So they go to Atlanta. And it was honestly, they live streamed it on Apple Music. And honestly, did you say you watched the first one? I watched some of the I watched majority of the first one. What was your initial thoughts on the first one? I thought it was weird. Yeah. I was like, 
He was pretty much just walking around, and then he had he was just walking around in all red. Yeah, just around the the state. fit was dope though. Yeah, it was fire. There's one thing I know you're into clothes. There's one thing that I really want to achieve is I want to get so like out of my own head and like famous and popular and just not care so much that I can start wearing monochromatic outfits. Just do it. Just straight one color. Just straight do it. Just Isn't do that it. sick? Yeah. People, I mean, that's kind of a common thing. I mean, I don't know about red. Yeah. But people but like do it with Billie like Eilish. black all the time. I do it with black. I mean, I have some some other colors, but. No, I want to do it with like neon green. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like out there, like oh, fresh you, prints. Okay, like, yeah, like Billie Eilish. Okay. Yeah, like Billie or like Yeezy or like. For some reason, I'm picturing like fresh prints where it's just one straight pattern mm -hmm. all the way down. You know just what I mean? Just do it. Like, screw it. Who Comment if you guys think I'm hot enough to do that. Um, that I really need that self-esteem boost. So Kanye does this listening party. I watched it, obviously, because what else do I have to do on a Thursday night? Literally nothing. Yeah. And so I watch it on Apple Music. And I, honestly, I think initially I was pretty like, let down. I would say after the first party, um, cause I just like, that's just how I am with every album. Every album is kind of weird. The first time I hear it, Yeah, it's always like the second and third listen where I'm like, Oh yeah, this no, this is, is like pretty really good. good album. Yeah. And, uh, so I thought it was weird. And then I downloaded like the mega file link and like took all the songs and stuff and started listening to it. Like put it on my Spotify, like every dorky person would do. And started listening to it over and over again. And I was like, oh, yeah, like these songs are like really good. And then the second listening party happened when I was in uh, northern Utah, just barely. I was at this cabin. The Kanye live stream was going on. I was with my family, with my cousin, my brother. And it started raining at night. And we were in this beautiful valley at this cabin watching the Kanye live stream. We had Ben and Jerry's. We went to the Maverick, got Ben and Jerry's, came back. Watched the Kanye live stream, ate ice cream on the deck while it rained. That is a spiritual experience. It is. It truly was. It's like going to go down as one of my core memories because yeah. it was such a, I, a lovely time. It would have made it so much better if the album actually released then too. I know. If it would have dropped that day, it would have yeah. been crazy good. But whatever. So the second listening party, I thought, even the first time I watched it, I was blown away. I was like, okay, yeah. Like, this is so good. If this drops right now as it is. One of the best, like, definitely Kanye projects, but, like, probably one of the best projects ever. Yeah. Like, it was just uh, really good. And so then it never dropped, got let down again, and when was that? That was at the start of this month. So then there was another listening party on the 23rd? 6th. 26th? I think. And we were kind of, like, watching it. Yeah, 26th. We started watching it, and then he was like, so this was the weirdest listening party, too. So, like, in the second one, he did, like, the thing where he floated up to the sky or whatever, and everyone was like, whoa, that's, like, crazy. Not even close to, like, comparing to this newest listening party. Like, that's not even cool. Yeah. Um. So this newest one, he had his childhood home, like, reconstructed, right? That was his childhood home. <laughs> yeah. Had his childhood home reconstructed in... The Chicago, whatever stadium the, it was. The Bears Stadium, Soldier Field. Yeah, the right Bears the Stadium. Center. Yeah, so he has his childhood home reconstructed in the center of the stadium. And then the part of the live stream that I saw was it was him and Marilyn Manson standing on the porch. Kanye, by the way, Kanye, this whole rollout has had his face covered. Mm -hmm. He hasn't shown his face. So every listening party he has like some sort of mask on. And so you have Kanye in a mask, which is already like off-putting. Like it's one of the most off-putting things I've seen. Yeah. And then standing next to that is Marilyn Manson, which if I, I'll, I'll try and put a picture of Marilyn Manson. There's Marilyn Manson, unless I just get lazy and don't edit it in. If you don't know who that is, that's, that's on the screen or look it up or whatever. Yeah. I don't care. So he's like a creepy looking dude. And do you know like the controversy with Marilyn Manson? Because everyone was getting pissed that he had him on. Like, there was some, like, crazy allegations against him or something. I think it was sexual assault allegations. I'm not 100% sure, though. Yeah. That's what I was reading into. Don't quote me on that. 
Um, he but yeah, only, he was the only person that didn't have his face covered. Like Travis Scott, Baby <clears throat> Keem, Don Toliver, everybody had their face. Did they call all come out? They yeah. were all there. Travis Scott was like off the porch in front of everything when Marilyn Manson. Well, was how do you there. know it's them? Because you could just tell it was like you could see his leg tattoos and like the way he was oh, standing. Really? Like you could just tell who it was. That's weird. Yeah, somebody said he brought out the baby, but I just uh, I didn't read. The baby was that. on stage with them too. Really? Yeah, he was the third person because it was like Marilyn Manson on the left, and then Kanye on the steps, and then the baby mm. like up to the right technically yeah so that was another weird thing with this newest version was i was listening to it in the kitchen and it was the first track jail which originally had jay-z on it in the second live stream um and then all of a sudden the jay-z verse wasn't on it anymore and it was the baby who we've talked about it on this podcast is getting like we talk about everything on this podcast he getting canceled yeah so the baby got canceled or whatever Got booted from all these festivals, and uh, didn't uh, What's Her Bucket take her song off with him? Did you tell me that? Yeah, Dua Lipa took, <laughs> took her song Levitating? off of every stream. Wasn't that service. a huge song, too? Yeah, it was huge. Literally everywhere. Like, I remember it was on one of the like rollouts for the NBA Finals. Mm. It was that big. Isn't that strange? Yeah, but then she made a song with Pop Smoke. Yeah, what Pop, what'd Pop Smoke do? Kill somebody? No, nah, he just said he can't mess with dudes if they're gay. Basically, oh, really? In a song, yeah. Yeah, and did you? I'm not gonna. Say, I'm not gonna quote exactly. Nah, what he yeah, said, yeah, yeah. But did you even like read what the baby said? Because I seriously like, mm-hmm. I talked about it on this podcast. Like, I don't understand like what. I definitely didn't think it should have been as big as it was. Like, I, well, I didn't understand how it was homophobic. Like, he, if you're, um. <laughs> <laughs> but like I didn't read it as homophobic. I read uh-huh. it as like if you're being like disgusting. Oh, uh, okay, like because yeah, you can be gay and not like not be this <laughs> like do what he said. Yeah, you know what he said. Yeah, like I don't think those are mutually exclusive. So in my mind, it was like he could have been talking. Oh no, he said dudes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was gonna say he could have been talking well, yeah. about girls, but he. Was but like definitely- it's the same. Like it's the same thing as if you were like. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. I don't want to be that gross on this podcast. We got graphic last podcast. (laughs) We're keeping it PG this podcast. podcast. So Tyson's parents can watch it and not get upset with me. My dad had a good time last (laughs) time. He commented, and I still don't understand what his comment said. I don't either. Dad, I know you're going to watch this one. Tyson's dad, please (laughs) explain what the last comment was. I appreciate it, but I just didn't know what it meant. It was pretty funny. <laughs> young men, something, something. Young something. men, that's a good thought, or something like that. Yeah, it was that. Which is pretty cool. Like that's positive that's and like inspiring. I just didn't understand. He um, just missed a couple words. Who knows? So, <laughs> so anyways, he brings out the baby on this song, and I like kind of freaked out because the baby's getting canned. Like everybody's mad at him, and he comes out on probably like the biggest thing in music right now. Yeah, talking about getting canceled and stuff. And it was a hard verse. Oh too. yeah, the verse was so hard. It's great. Like it's, I, I don't know. It just stands out to me as like one of the better. Just what he was saying too. He's like, bro, yeah. you guys are really canceling. Yeah, me and like taking it, food off my cool. daughter's plate, bro. Like, yeah, it was cool what he was saying. And so I was in the kitchen. I was like, Tyson, Tyson, dude, are you hearing this? And I like ran into your room, and I was like, dude, Tyson, are you listening to the live stream? You're just like, I'm you're like, like kind of half sleep. You're like, I'm like nah. passed out. I'm like, no. Nah, I was bro. like, I was like. Kanye just had the baby on the song and he was talking about getting canceled. And you're like, wow. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was, was like, I was, was like, so tired. I was like, all right. Yeah. It's not that cool. I guess <laughs> I just left. I felt so dumb. I was literally, cause we were we, earlier in the night. We were in my room just chilling. I made Tyson watch a movie that he did not like. I was falling asleep the whole time. I would literally, I had the live stream on my lap. And then just like propped up on my bed, and I was just closing my eyes and just yeah. going out for like ten minutes at a time. Yeah. And then he's he's like, "All right, we don't have to keep watching this anymore." And I was like, <laughs> I was like "I'm right, gonna so. watch the Donda live stream. Sorry for wasting your time." I was like, "All right, bro, I'm going to bed." Yeah. So then I ran into his room and pissed him off. And uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that was crazy. What else happened? Um, what are we we keep on on the chronology? I guess so. <clears throat> the live stream what else happened in the live stream he lit himself on fire i wasn't watching at that point got remarried to kim kardashian got remarried to kim kardashian i think he floated too at some point or whatever but yeah so like some crazy stuff happened it was definitely probably my favorite one from what <clears throat> i've seen there was just so much going on and then yeah like the people like marching around the house and it looked like yeah. it was burning there was like fire yeah. coming out of like holes in the ground it was crazy yeah, the production was definitely the coolest out of all three. But yeah. I think musically, I like the second one the best. The second one was so good. Yeah. Because the third one, 
Oh, dude. And we got to talk about... There's some Kanye... Like, I don't really like Kanye stands, even though I am one. But, like, the average Kanye stand is kind of, like, special ed. Like... Super special. Like, they're, like, super special. Like, did you hear the sample that he used? The glub 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 thing? Uh Uh-uh. You never heard that? It's on the real album. Oh. Do you know that meme? No. I don't really know it either, but it's like, I am the girl. Blah, 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 oh, wait, blah. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I don't remember it off the album, but I know what meme you were yeah, talking so about. Yeah, so he sampled that in the third listening party. It went on for like a minute straight after one of the songs. I think it's 24, the song. And it's in the album. <laughs> that really? is in the album after 24. And oh, it's wow. like, that's got to be one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. Like, what is the point of that? But same with the Donda chant. That was that was weird. The Donda chant is felt like I was getting possessed. It's different for me. It. I haven't even listened to it on the album because it's it, I just skip it. But yeah, like it, that, it was hard for me to listen to. And usually I'm a guy that like it listens to interludes. Mm-hmm. Like I'll listen to all interludes just because I like to get a feel for like the album. Mm-hmm. But that one I just don't mess with because it freaks me out. But I feel like it's sentimental. I just don't understand what the glub 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 <laughs> has to do with freaking Donda. Yeah. Like it pissed me off that he did that. My favorite like intros and interludes and stuff like that are the voicemail ones. Like off Goodbye and Good Riddance from Juice World. Mm. How he just had those like mixed in. I've never okay. listened to that album. I'm sorry. Yeah. We listen to kind of different types of music. Yeah, I don't blame you. I was also heartbroken. and uh, yeah. I got my heart broken sophomore year. And I was like, look. Sophomore gonna- year? Yeah. That's tight. Not really. What did you, what I mean? Did, it is now, but you know. How do you date as a sophomore? Like you were in love as a sophomore? Oh, I definitely wasn't in love. No. But you got your heart broken. Yeah. Let's talk about it. And then I did. I Who got, was this whore? I got I got back with her junior year. It's always a mistake. With the sole purpose to break up with her. Are you serious? <laughs> not even, not life? even kidding. I didn't ruin her. You life. are a I menace. Think, I don't think she was that hurt by it, but I was like, look, you broke up with me a year ago. I'm getting back with you. Wait, so let's let's kind of go through this. So sophomore year, you get with the girl? So sophomore year, I'll explain the whole situation my first couple weeks of sophomore year. Do it. So in Pocatello, or in Blackfoot, Southeast Idaho, there's the Southeast Idaho Fair. Mm-hmm. The East Idaho State Fair, something like that. Me and one of my old friends went, and I met this girl that I FaceTimed her the other day. Not oh. It's not the one I've been on FaceTime with. Yeah. It was a different one. Yeah. But... Like, we were cool, got her Snapchat, blah, 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 blah. I was, like, interested in her. Kind of like, didn't work out. She lived, like, an hour away. So I was like, all right, yeah, I don't mm-hmm. I don't drive yet. You don't drive yet. Like, this is dumb. Yeah. Um. So got with this other girl. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, cool. It was, like, a couple weeks. Literally, like, the, the two-week, like, yeah. <laughs> sophomore, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> beginning yeah. of high school relationship. Yeah. And I remember she texted me one day. She's like, my parents don't want us to date anymore. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> wait, I was what? like, wait, why? And she's like, I don't know. They don't think I've been happy. And I was like, okay. <laughs> the parents banned you from dating. Parents. Oh, yeah, yeah, Her yeah. parents yeah. loved me. So I thought it was weird. Oh, they loved you? Yeah, they really liked me. They'd always invite me over. For, unless they were just being nice. If I know you're not going to watch this, but if you guys are watching this, did you guys actually like me? Please comment if you like Tyson or if you hated him. Yeah. I was I was a cool kid. I was nice. I was respectful. Yeah, I would have loved to know you in in your younger years. No, you wouldn't have. Anyways, that all happened, and I like kind of hated her, and then also kind of hated life at the same time. Is that so, when you started listening to Juice World? Oh no, I was listening to Juice World way before that. Oh, but I remember like every day after that, I would listen to Goodbye and Good Riddance first thing when I got to school in math class, and my math teacher hated me for it. That can be good for like your mental health. Oh, it definitely wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely wasn't starting off a day with a <laughs> spoonful of depression man. basically <laughs> spoonful of depression one thing that reminded me of was that we watched well we didn't really watch it the little peep documentary. the little peep documentary before this party and then we went to the party and i was trying to be as annoying as possible because that's kind of usually my goal i don't know if you've noticed i try to be like super annoying and so every single song that played i'll just be like Oh, yo, is this a little peep? Oh, my God. Tyson, is getting, this a little peep? Bro, I was getting so annoyed when he was... I was like, bro, shut up. Oh, my God. But I but I always take it one step too far. Right as it's, like, kind of funny, I take it a little too far to where it's, like, not funny anymore. But then I bring it back and do it more 
until it's funny again. <laughs> Yeah, that's my goal. We were just jumping in the mosh pit. He's like, "Is this little peep?" And some <laughs> girl like, like looked over, and I actually? was like, "Yeah." Did you not see her? <laughs> no. So it was like, I was like standing behind you, and I had like my arm on your shoulder, or I had like had my hand on your shoulder, and yeah. you were like jumping, and you like turned and said it, and this girl next to me just like turned, <laughs> like whipped around, and I was like, "No," and just kept and jumping like, with it, it. The funniest thing was, it's like clearly, it's like can't it's, hold this by Macklemore. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Something like that, or. He even said it during sicko mode. Oh yeah! Oh wait, yeah, I do remember. You said it during sicko mode when you we were. I in was line. like, yeah, it was sicko <laughs> mode, and I was like, it was the Drake part. I was like, dude, is this no, a little peep? Yeah, and the guy always like, <laughs> he's like, no, this is sicko no, mode. This is Drake. It's sicko mode. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was dying because he thought you were being serious, and I was like, oh, no way, bro. That's why I love being me, bro. I love it. That um, was. That was wild how we met that guy. We literally just yeah. Got who was that guy? I don't even remember his name. <laughs> we like see you around like campus, Jonah going, What's or up? something. Some, What's up, Jonah? I, I don't think it was Jonah. <laughs> but we were just we were just standing there in line for this foam dance, and he just turned around and started talking about how long the line was. Yeah, like I wish I had that sort of social capabilities. Yeah, I don't I'm too talk scared. to people. I don't want to talk to. It's people. not like I'm not like filled with fear of like talking to people like if i have something to say i'll say it yeah. i just don't have stuff to say to people that's facts I'll, I'll like walk past somebody and be like hey how's it going they'll just look at me like i'm crazy no okay that's not true this is what tyson does <laughs> this is what tyson does we'll we'll be like sitting there and somebody will like walk past us they're like halfway <laughs> biased to like not even yeah. remotely <laughs> even in front they'll of me like, anymore <laughs> yeah so they'll walk past us they'll be like clear over there tyson will be like i like your shirt and they won't say anything because obviously they don't know that you're talking to them and probably can't hear you. And then Tyson will just get pissed off and be like, like I F, F you then. F F you then. I screw off. Yeah, dude. It's so funny. I'm also, Tyson is the god of pickup lines. <laughs> I I don't need to go to my... I've started taking notes of Tyson's pickup lines so that I can one even, day use them. They aren't even pickup lines, though. Well, they're like one of the first three things you say to girls that I've noticed. When does this stop again at 30 minutes? This stops oh, at 30 minutes. that stops at yeah. 30 minutes. So that's going to stop here Yeah. Soon. Um. So it's it's like one of the first sentences that you say to girls. I've started taking notes. One of them, I'll give you a little sneak peek. One of them that's in my notes is, I have an iron deficiency. <laughs> that's not the first How thing. did the conversation go? We were just it was chill. like the third was, sentence you said. I was explaining the whole situation. Third sentence. It, this is no. No, it was no you weren't, dude. Yes, because I was explaining no. the, the situation with this girl. No, you weren't. It them. was yes. before that, And then bro. I was like, dude, my leg's kind of feeling weird right now. And they're like, why? And I was like, I think I have an iron deficiency. Because <laughs> <laughs> my legs felt funny. They were just tingling. It was, was before, like, though. Like, you hadn't even explained. You were just like, oh, dude, my legs feel like kind of weird. Oh, yeah, because they took a picture and I thought I was in it. So I asked them. Yeah, so this is... What happens? This is how me and Tyson pick up girls. So these chicks were like taking like 800 pictures and we were like in one and Tyson's like, yo, were we in that picture? And they were like, uh, no, do you want to be in one? And we're like, nah, they were cool about <laughs> it. They definitely were I'm, tr like I'm trying to make it sound like it's worse than the ones. Oh, thanks. And so then we were like, oh yeah, we'll be in one. And so we like go stand by him and like start taking pictures. And then Tyson's like, oh dude, my legs kind of hurt. I was like, they just feel weird. Like, and they're like, why? And you're like, I don't know. I think I have an iron deficiency. <laughs> and then the other one, we were walking out and these girls come and ask for our Snapchats. And um, I can't remember what they said. They're like, hey, can we get your guys snapped? And Tyson's like, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, don't act so excited. And you're, you're like, you're that like, was you. <laughs> no, you were, dude. Like, you were like, yeah, I guess. And I just sat there. No, I didn't, that I did is not, not what I said. That is, I swear to God, that's what happened. No, I promise you. I said something like, yes, please. Like I said something like that. I remember. There's no way. I, I remember. They, they were talking to you. I don't remember being like, oh, okay, yeah. I don't remember saying anything. You said like something. And then they were like, oh, don't act so excited. And Tyson, I like, remember that. Tyson's like, Sorry, I'm socially awkward. Oh, yeah, I was like, sorry, I'm awkward. <laughs> so, <laughs> it just it just weirds them out and then gets them away from me. If you guys need pickup lines, just hit up Tyson. We should do a segment. We should sometime. Going through pickup lines. I could definitely, I'll get a list. That would be funny. But it, that was a weird interaction because one of the girls saw me off of this page, or she noticed oh, me yeah. off, the, recognized me off of this page yeah. on Instagram, and she's like, are you Tyson? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, never lead with that. Never lead with like somebody's name if you've never talked to them in real life it kind of made me it was weird like if you know like, them from social media hey are you tyson i feel like a celebrity yeah 
like Low you felt key. like me when I got noticed for my podcast. Yeah, because that's not even the first. This oh yeah, and then we were we were at the foam dance, oh, yeah, and the same that. thing happened too. Oops. This girl's like she did. I'm just chilling. Like it's super dark outside. There's just flashing lights, so you're not really getting a good look at anybody. And somehow this girl manages to turn around and notices me, and she's like Tyson, and I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. And I just kept acting like I couldn't hear, her. and she was like. Do you? I'm, I shouldn't. Have oh, said you said her name. name. Bleep it, editor Brock. Yeah, bleep it. She's now. like, I'm bleep, and I was <laughs> like, huh? I was like, I don't remember you. Like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, I've I've been talking to you over Instagram, and I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I just kept acting like I I knew who this person was, and that what happened. I just didn't want to, <laughs> did not want to talk to this person. Because oh, even during with the with the conversations, I was kind of just being dry. Like I was being nice, but I was like, yeah cool that's what's up just stuff like that like clearly not wanting to talk and she's like hold on i'll show you pulls out her phone <laughs> no that's so awkward in the middle we're in foam foam's up to like at least our yeah. hips we're in in foam like no we're like around. in foam yeah in foam <laughs> but There's nowhere she else um, to say it. pulls her phone out tries going through her instagram dms to find <laughs> rdm and can't find it and as soon as as soon as she couldn't find it she's like i promise it happened and i was like okay and just like walked away and found him and i was like what you probably made her feel so stupid i she was probably i don't know you should have been like yeah okay guy oh i can't say that anymore. yeah okay guy you okay man yeah okay buddy okay dude yeah um, oh it happened in the parking lot too when those girls like drove by and they're like Tyson. Oh yeah, and they like walked Tyson's their big car. man on campus, bro. I, I don't got know. Recognized like four times this week. Yeah, it's weird. Tyson, is that you? They were like, "Are you okay?" And I or like, "Oh yeah." They're like, "Do you want to come sit in the car with us?" And I was like, "Not really. I'm just chilling." I'm like, oh, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "Yeah, my stomach kind of hurts, but I'm good." <laughs> and they were like. Oh, okay and the girl's like why don't you talk to me i was like bro i don't know she said something about wanting to hang out and i was like bro you ghosted me yeah and then she was like i didn't i promise like i i just don't i'm not good at responding and i was like bro stop like, we should just do a whole podcast about our dating lives wouldn't that be fun this podcast should just turn into brock and tyson's dating life brock and tyson's dating well, I just got played, just to let y'all know. So. And I haven't talked to a girl in a long time. The one girl that I did like moved away, and now I'm sad. And that's the show, everybody. Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, nah, I didn't get... Okay, I think I did. I'm not 100% sure. We'll, 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 we'll put this on pause until we really get this fleshed out, but I think that would be funny, or at least a segment of the podcast where we just talk about our... Just like go full in on our dating, on our womenly lives. Like experiences in the past or just current or just everything? Whatever we want. Mostly just current. Like okay. what's the Caller Daddy? Is that what the they call, did? The Caller Daddy podcast. Is that kind of what they do? I don't know. I don't think so. I think they just talk about random stuff. But um, but it's mostly sexual. Oh, for sure. Um, What's her name? Who hosts it? Alex. Alex something. I know. Blonde chick. Yeah, I... It came out that she has a boyfriend. Oh, really? Yeah, and mm. her and her boyfriend ran it. Alex Cooper. <laughs> Alex who, Cooper. Yeah, yeah, that's who it is. And they ran into Logan Paul at a club, and Alex Cooper and Logan Paul have like oh, yeah, hooked yeah, up yeah. in the past. So it was like a super awkward thing, and I guess like a fight broke out and like a bunch really? of stuff. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know if it was a physical fight. It was probably just yelling at each other. Who knows? Verbal like, fight. Yeah, verbal fight. And influencers like to. <laughs> How's your, how's your uh, Tinder? We're both on Tinder, sadly. Um, Let's talk about Tinder. What's your thoughts on that? Useless. Useless. Why? First girl I hung out with here, I got cat. Oh, yeah. Talk about that. That, <laughs> that was, was so funny. That was such a such a weird experience. That was like one of my first things that I like talked to you about. I'm pretty sure I matched with her when I was here in June for orientation. And then just didn't talk to her. And then she ended up texting me when I came back down. And, um, yeah, she asked for my Snapchat. So we were just talking over Snapchat. It was just a cool little thing. We weren't really, like, talking, talking. We were just talking about blank snaps, I guess. Yeah. And then talking about hanging blank out snaps. sometime. Blank snaps. That's such a joke. Anyways, yeah. keep going. Yeah, that's currently what I'm doing right now. But I want to stop. 
Anyways, um, we plan a night to hang out. So we hang out, or I go over to her apartment, and all of her roommates are there. They're just chilling. I get there. She's giving some dude a tarot reading. Some, like, 20-year-old guy. A what? Tarot reading with, like, the cards and everything. And I just sit there on the couch next to her roommates, and I'm just like... <laughs> what? Wait. Hold on. Wait. I didn't hear that. You didn't hear that part? No. She's, like, a witch? Basically. Witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm what just. What the f? Yeah, I'm Tyson's saying, dating a witch. I'm not dating. Oh no, I almost no. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just man. sitting there and it's happening in front of me and I'm like, what is this? Yeah, I, I was like, I just I want to leave right now. Yeah. you should have. How funny would it be if you came in, sat, sat down, down for two and seconds, immediately stood, stood up, up and, and left. left? That'd have been funny, <laughs> but she. Didn't really look how she did in her pictures. So I was like, all right. Say it how it is. She didn't look how she looked in Say her pictures. Say it how it is. She wasn't she's ugly. No, nah, she wasn't even ugly. She just wasn't. She just didn't look how she looked in her pictures. So what does that mean? Wasn't as attractive as I thought she was going to be. But she wasn't ugly. She was She was still pretty attractive. Mm. But um, so I'm just chilling on the couch next to her roommates. They're being weird. Talking about how the guy getting the tarot reading fucks the... <laughs> 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 sleeps with the other, <laughs> other roommate. You're good. And I'm like, oh, what the? So I text our roommate, James, Gus, the man that was right there on the last podcast. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, call me and act like you need a ride home yeah. right now. Yeah. So he calls me. I leave it on speaker. And oh, my. I like, they're like, oh, yeah, I need a ride. Like, my <laughs> the people I was with just left me. And it was the night that it was pouring, too. Oh, so yeah. I was like, crap, I'm so sorry. I gotta go. I gotta go pick up my roommate. The people he was with just left him, and it's pouring outside. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. Soon as I get out of the out of the apartment, I sprint to my car and yeah. leave. And you want to know what's home. so funny? She no, she knew you were lying because oh. she's a witch. Ha- yeah, for sure. She looked at her cards and she's like, "Tyson's not going to pick that kid up." She's like, Maybe that. <laughs> She just cursed me, so now my love life is just screwed. Oh, dang, That's dude. why I can't get out of a talking stage. No, you will. It's only been two... You've only been here for two weeks. Yeah. You realize that? I already got my heart broken once. Look at your face. Look at your face in the camera. You're so pretty. <laughs> Any females... I know this 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 podcast is going to blow up on TikTok. Any yeah, females, tell me more about it. Come my way. Just Girls. Kidding. Don't, actually. Let's wait. clip this. Hi, let's do a commercial for ourselves. Okay. Ready? How Three, are we two. Do this? Okay. Just wing it. Three, two. Hi, I'm Brock Gardner. I'm Tyson Gasper. We're both single roommates looking for girls for good times. Shake my hand. We have fun together. Yep. I'm. <laughs> what did I just what, what just happened? That's gonna get us so many hoes. Comment if you want to have sex with us. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, dude, we're killing the game. What? We haven't even talked. We've only talked about one topic that we so, wanted to. So what else happened that week? Um, on Pride Week. <laughs> yeah. Or we started classes. Freshman classes week? were pretty cool. Yeah, how's your classes been? Have you built any computers? <laughs> no. <laughs> we had to build a car in my Trailblazer Connections class. A out of, car? Out of tooth or out of uh, popsicle sticks and literally, what are you cats. guys doing? So my Trailblazer Connections teacher is a STEM teacher, so that's why all of our stuff is science oriented. That seems weird. It is. I don't like it at all. You just have to build stuff. Yeah, and we. Didn't do anything. You're like, I'm here for freaking generals, man. I actually matched with a girl that I was working on that project with on Tinder. Really? Yeah. Was she hot? Not bad. Why do you swipe on girls that aren't hot? Because I've gone through all the hot ones already. <laughs> she just on starts Tinder, swiping on So it. it's it's hard to find a, a good looking girl on Tinder now. It honestly is. All of them. I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, I I go through a cycle where it's like, I get like super like lonely, so I download dating apps. Yeah. Start swiping. You never match. Like you, I rarely match match with girls. And if I ever do match with a girl, it's because they saw that I liked them and just like went through and just swiped right on them all. Yeah. It's never like a real true match. 
Yeah. Um, no so texts. It's, it's a waste of time. But then when you do match with a girl, like I match with girls sometimes that are actually like attractive. And I'll like text them and like, especially on Tinder. Sorry, I'm getting choked up. This is a really emotional subject. Especially on Tinder, like half of the girls like don't even like respond. No, they don't. Which is funny. Because they just don't check Tinder. I've found out pretty much every girl's on Tinder is a joke. Which really is As a every, joke? Everybody should be on Tinder. <laughs> I'm on Tinder for reals. I'm trying to find love. <laughs> trying to find love through Tinder. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I just like looking at pretty girls. That's valid. Honestly. That's really the only reason. That's why I like TikTok too. All that's on my TikTok is like pretty girls and like retarded people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, honestly, um, um, TikTok. Some okay, yeah. Some TikTok girls are different. It's nice because a lot. Yeah. What do you mean? There's different, like like they're witches. No, like oh wait, you didn't. Okay, you weren't a part of that. Oh, sorry. For that whole time period. No, I wasn't. Basically, from like 2017 to like 2018, every single basketball player would say, if a girl was really hot, you'd just say they're different. Oh, really? It's like, oh, that girl's different. Like, she, like it she, hit she, different? Like, nah. Nah, not even like that. Like, she's different. Like, just stuff like that. Like, not even actually being like, oh, she's different from most girls. She's not the same. She's which like, is fake. Diff. All girls are the same. She's like, she did. Yeah, she's different. Yeah, she different, bro. Yeah, she different, cuz. Yeah, bro, she different. On um, fuck them, cuz. <laughs> Stop. I don't want to get a gang member to shoot up my podcast studio. Tyson. <laughs> Someone just pops through. I heard what you said on that podcast. Boom. <laughs> Anyways. Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley, you got your ass kicked. Jake Paul, I love you. Jake Paul for life. Explain that, because you know a lot more on the subject. Go um, through it. Jake I used Paul. I used to not like Jake Paul, and now I do like Jake Paul because he what has a, matured. What an arc! And he's pretty cool. Now, same with Logan Paul. Logan Paul's cool now because they've matured. And, anyways, um, the Jake Paul Tyron Woodley fight was last night. I laid in bed watching it mm. illegally. Don't add that in there. You didn't have to add that in there. <laughs> now you're gonna get arrested. How do you feel? <laughs> it's okay. The FBI is knocking on our door right now. How do you feel? That's all right. Kidding. Continue. Um, a lot of people are saying it was rigged. Why? I don't understand because Jake won. It went all eight rounds and Jake won. But what, wasn't it like a split decision? What does that mean? Um, so there was, (laughs) (laughs) I'll just explain. There was three judges. Okay. Two went for, if it was a unanimous decision, all three would have went for Jake. Oh, so it it just means not all of them. Two and one. Yeah. Interesting. But Jake Paul clearly just whooped him the entire fight. Tyron Woodley got what, had one good round, and he clipped him in the back of the head, which is illegal in boxing. Yeah, and he like stumbled, which was really bad. I honestly thought he was gonna get knocked out when it happened. I kind of got worried for a sec. Jake Paul. Yeah, and everywhere posted it. Literally everywhere. every single account on Instagram posted it. Mm. I'm pretty sure you did too. But what? Yeah, you posted it. Posted the Jake Paul. Yeah. Did you not see him get clipped? You literally posted it on your Instagram. What are you no, talking? I didn't. He definitely did. But no, I didn't, dude. After the after the fight, um, Jake Paul was being cool, and he like dabbed up Tyron Woodley. Was like being cordial. <laughs> like, just Hold chilling. on, I never posted anything I'm on my. Hitting, oh. bro. It's sarcasm. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking Damn. about? Damn. <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. But he was just being cool with them, like trying not to be a dickhead anymore. Yeah. And Tyron Woodley just pops out of nowhere, like talking crap to Logan Paul, talk crap on to Logan. Yeah, because Logan was like standing behind Jake like during the thing. And um Jake was like saying he's like, oh he's like a tough fighter. Like he's literally one of the best UFC fighters of all time, like praising him. And then Tyron Woodley just starts talking crap to him. And he's like, yeah. you didn't win, blah 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 blah. Like mm. saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And before the fight at one of the press conferences they agreed that Whoever loses have to get has to get a tattoo of the other's name. So uh-huh. yeah, Jake Paul literally said, "If you win, I will get Tyron Woodley. I love Tyron Woodley tattooed on my leg." <laughs> and he said, "If I win, you have to get Jake Paul. I love Jake Paul tatted on your leg." And he said, "Bet he agreed to it." Mm-hmm. So after the fight, I, there was like an altercation and everything, and he's like, "Or Tyron Woodley kept 
saying he wants to run the fight back. He's like, let's run it back. Let's run mm. it back. And Jake Paul's like, get the tattoo and I will run it back. And he like shook his hand. I doubt he's going to get the tattoo, but I thought it was the funniest Wait, thing. so like do a rematch? Yeah. Because that's what I saw too, that they were going to do a rematch. I don't know if it'll happen. I don't. I doubt it'll happen to be honest. Interesting. So it, if it does happen, then Tyron Woodley's getting knocked out. So what's your thoughts on Jake Paul as a fighter? You were, I called him a YouTube fighter and you pissed in your pants and started yelling like an <laughs> ape at me. So I'm just interested. <laughs> that definitely didn't happen. I'm just interested. Like, what do you think about Jake Paul as a fighter? I think he's a pretty good fighter fighter now like obviously when he was fighting other youtubers it was like oh, okay yeah youtube boxer but like now that he's been training for four years like you can't just keep calling him a youtube boxer what he, a, he but just what if i do then it is what it is that's your opinion i guess <laughs> like he, he just bought a he just fought a five-time ufc champion so and one going eight rounds with him so i mean like the ben Askren one that was you you can't consider that like obviously he's talented and yeah. obviously he could destroy me. Yeah. Like, there's no question. A lot of people. That Jake Paul is physically fit and could mm -hmm. murder me. Mm -hmm. But has he ever... I'm just asking this question. Has he ever boxed a boxer? Tyron Woodley was a pretty notorious striker in the UFC. But a boxer. Not a real boxer, no. I mean, he trains with boxers and he spars boxers, like pro boxers. But I mean, like... Not in an actual fight fight, no. Like, I respect him. But, like, with how much, like, smack he talks, I feel like... You got to box some boxers. I mean, that was his fourth fight. So no real boxer is going to want to box him unless it's for money. No, but this is the argument we had last night. Why did Logan Paul get to fight Floyd Mayweather? Because Floyd Mayweather Cause Logan... wanted money. But you would think that a lot of other people would feel that same way, right? Definitely. Most definitely, yeah. But I I really... It's still it's still weird to me that, that the Floyd Mayweather-Logan Paul fight even happened. I think it was just because he was talking so much crap. Yeah, I don't know though, because Jake's doing the same thing with like Conor McGregor and a bunch of bunch of other fighters, but nobody's. I don't know well, I'm just saying, like, I feel like if Jake Paul wanted to fight a boxer, he would have no trouble getting a real boxer to fight him, given yeah. how much money those make. Yeah, and how much publicity it gives. Which realistically, it's all because of Jake Paul. It's like yeah. it's crazy that fighters don't get paid as much, as, especially UFC fighters. He's fighting mostly UFC fighters because they don't get paid anything at all in the yeah. UFC. Their salaries are so bad. Yeah, UFC is sad. And then they get like 10 times their check off of one fight with Jake yeah. Paul versus one fight with someone else. That yeah, get. but it's just funny, like, especially, well, especially before, like, the Woodley fights, like, Jake Paul's choice of, like, people to fight, I feel like was kind <laughs> of embarrassing. It yeah. was like a, a wrestler that became a bad UFC fighter and then now he's going to try and box, Tyler. and he made it, like, a big deal. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't translate. Like, that doesn't translate I feel to like, me. I feel like prior to this fight, I can see where you're coming from, <laughs> but now I feel like he's, like... You think this solidified him? Yeah, for sure. Just because, especially since he went eight rounds. Yeah. So that's not, not an easy thing to do in boxing. Again, I respect the man just for even being out here doing it, but, like... Yeah. But, like, I'm saying, like, I have a level of respect for him already, not as a creator at all, because I think his content's stupid. I think he's a smart person, because I think he knows what he's doing. Oh, for sure. But just the content is not for me. I think it's dumb. Yeah. Um, but as a fighter, like I, I respect him a certain level. But I'm saying it would be more. I would respect him more and be like, okay, Jake Paul's a boxer. If he starts to beat boxers, that's valid. Yeah, I it's very you, valid. I see where you're coming from. <clears throat> we love you, Tekka dropped too. Yeah, what's or that we love about? Your too. Is it cool? It was pretty good. I liked it. Um, what, what else dropped? Oh, the Baby Kim Kendrick. Baby song. Kim Kendrick song is really good. Kendrick's the one of the goats. Well, oh, that's wow. a, that's something I was gonna bring up with Kanye. Do you think this? Uh, lots of solidifications this weekend. Do you think this solidifies Kanye as the hip hop goat? No, he already has been. Actually, mm, I feel like after <laughs> Ye he was, and then er. I don't know. After the life of Pablo, it put him up there, and then Ye just added it even more, and then Jesus is King kind of <laughs> yeah. took it down a little bit. I I've been saying like I wish Kanye stopped making music after Kids See Ghost until Donda dropped because Donda's great. Yeah, but like if he just never made Jesus is King, and honestly, it's not that terrible of an album. It's it gets pretty, a bad rap. It is pretty bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Closed on Sunday is one of the worst songs I've ever heard in my life. That was such a weird time when he was doing his Sunday service things. But I love that. Like, I love the choir and stuff. Yeah, I that, liked, that, was, that was cool. I liked that aesthetic. The album just didn't really... 
Honestly, I haven't listened to it in a long time. I need to try it again. Yeah. But I remember that Closed on Sunday is one of the worst songs I've ever heard. It's definitely the worst Kanye song ever made. <laughs> but even the second half of that song is, like, pretty sick. Honestly, it's just the first half that's terrible. Yeah. I haven't but, heard that song in a minute, so I'm not really 100% sure. But there's some cool to. stuff on there. Sela, Sela, that song's dope. You remember that song? Not really. We'll listen to it after. I only it's it's it a like, sick song. I only listened to it about two, the whole album like two times. Yeah, I didn't listen to it that much either. But yeah, Donda's dope. So you think Kanye is the goat of hip hop? One of them, yeah, for sure. Kendrick, <laughs> Ye, Drake's up there. Well, here's what I'm thinking. So I was thinking this while I was in the shower this morning because I think a lot while I'm in the shower. Um, a lot of people talk about like Drake and how he's the goat, which, you know, it, it's, it's, what is it, subjective? Mm -hmm. It's subjective, um, but their argument for that is like how he stays relevant. And I'm like, Kanye's been here since 2001. Mm-hmm. He's been making music since 2001 and, and is still relevant. just broke so many records. He has the second biggest album opening on Spotify ever. Second? Second. Who had first? I don't know. I was going to look that up. Hmm. But yeah, second biggest album debut on Spotify ever. And he has the record, the actually top three records for the most streams on Apple Music. His so Donda took number one most streams on Apple Music. The second mm -hmm. one was Donda live stream, and the third uh, one was Donda live stream before that. Oh, okay. So he just broke three consecutive records with Apple Music. Oh, for the same album. Yeah, Pretty and much. his I think his whole album or the majority of the songs on the album are in the top one hundred, and it's the album's number one in like sixty countries, I think. Oh, it was more now. It's more now. Oh, yeah. I saw a post about it earlier. It was a lot. Really? Yeah. Um, I also saw something that said he broke Olivia Rodrigo streams, like most streams on an album in the first 24 hours or something for 2021 or something like that. That's not surprising. Nah, yeah. That's pretty obvious. But like, so what I'm saying is people use that, that Drake is what stays relevant somehow stays relevant throughout uh -huh. his whole career but dude kanye's been doing that tenfold i feel like yeah like drake in the last couple years i it hasn't been as big you think i don't know not i don't know like since, since scorpion i mean he dropped the dark lane demo tapes last year but a lot of that stuff was already out and i didn't even know that was a thing that's what i'm saying yeah, definitely since Scorpion. I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know how to feel about him dropping now. Like, yeah, we can talk about that. You know a lot more than I do. Certified lover boy. I feel like it's going to do really, really, really good just pe just because people want to see the difference between the two albums and want to see mm -hmm. which one's better. But I don't know if it'll top Donda. No, I don't know. I don't. I don't listen to like Drake projects that much. I like Drake a lot. Drake's you listen fire. to, like, his albums and stuff? Mm -hmm. What was the last, like, good one? Because I just... Oh, actually, well, I guess the, Scorpion. the EP that he dropped earlier this year was awesome. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. With um, Wants and Needs, yeah, What's Next. Yeah, Little Baby. So, I guess... And Red Air, Lemon Pepper. And uh, was it last year when he did, like, Laugh, Cry, something? Oh, yeah, Laugh, Now, Laugh, Cry, now, Cry later. later. I love that song, That dude. song's really good. That song's dope. Yeah, I listen Little to that Little Dirk's verse on that song goes so yeah. hard. Um, I'm going to try to relax. Honestly, Drake is like getting carried by his features right now. <laughs> I don't think so, no. No, I mean like him being featured on songs, you know? Like, oh, okay. Like Remember Smiley? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That song is so dope, and I love the smiley verse. Louis and Gucci don't go together. Brian and Gucci don't go together. Louis and Gucci don't go better. <laughs> was so it so hot? It, dude. Was, it gets me going every time I listen to it. What was the first bar? Prada and Gucci. It was Prada and Gucci. I thought it was Louis and Gucci. No, nah, it's Prada, I think. That makes more sense. Louis and you know, single banner. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that Smiley's literally dope. blew up on TikTok for being so bad. But I like it. Because it was like the comparisons of like something being bad and then Drake's first representing Yeah, it pissed me thing. off, dude. Smiley gets a bad rap for no reason, bro. It, would, it really wasn't that bad. There was one <laughs> at the end or like towards the middle of the song. We already talked about it on the podcast, but... Uh, Towards the middle of the song, one of his bars was, like, very, very, like, moany. 
Oh yeah. Towards the middle of the song, you're that's like about. bad. Like, I, I, it makes me like, it's tough for me to listen to that part. Yeah. But the rest of it, like, isn't that bad, especially the first verse. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm in control of blood. <laughs> yeah. His features have been going hard lately, though. Drake's. Um, yeah, he had that feature on Culture Three. Culture Three. Yeah, I want that Migos. Yeah, I don't. When remember. did that come out? Um, let's check. I know. When did the Yes Indeed song come out? Was that like a long time ago? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little late to that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was having our way with Drake. His fe- his feature on that goes hard. Yeah, I think it came out earlier this year. How to be? I want to say it definitely wasn't June. Maybe I think it was May that it came out. That or one April. song with him and uh, and uh, um, <laughs> who? I can't remember his name. Trippy Red. No. Oh, that feature was hard too because he dissed Yay on that one. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't listen to that song. That one was good. Um, who else has he? F, done? dude. Feature What's on. his name? We just watched his documentary. We just watched his documentary. What's his name? <laughs> Tell me it now. What is it? Hold this L. I'm not saying Tell it. Tell me it now. What's he his name? He did not have a feature with him. Tell me it now. No. Tell me no. now. The fact that you can't remember is funny. Okay, I'm looking it up. <laughs> You're not what are you supposed to look up? Documentary. Document documentary. About rappers. Uh <laughs> I cannot remember this kid's name. Why can't I remember his name? <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Tell me now, Tyson. No. Tyson, tell me now. It was Peep. Lil Peep! No, he on yeah, his, on, his, on that one song with uh, Lil Peep and Travis Scott, that was a pretty good feature. That's the effing joke I was trying to make. Can you eff, can you believe that that was the joke I was trying to make and it took me thirty minutes? I'm Basically. literally gonna end it all right now, dude. Um, he did talk about Peep in his Rap Radar interview, which I thought was really cool. He was talking about how he watched the documentary and how it was sad to see young artists pass away so early. Yeah, but he went more in depth about it. But I don't. Remember it off the top of my head. Drake's a weirdo. He is. He dated a Millie Bobby Brown. Amari Bailey's mom. I don't know who that is. Uh Sierra Canyon basketball <gasps> player. Do you know who Bronny is? Yeah. Bronny so <laughs> the, the how the headlines were was Bronny's teammate's mom, even though Bronny's teammate, who is Amari Bailey, is big enough <laughs> yeah. to be known as Amari imagine, Bailey. Imagine you're that kid. He's not Bronny's even Bronny's teammates, mom. Bronny's teammates, mom. I guess they've been dating for a while too. Oh wait, I actually heard about that. Yeah, when he they were like at the, a baseball game or at, something. No, at Dodger Stadium, the entire stadium to himself. Oh really? Wasn't even at a game. Yeah, and the kid Sitting was just getting like clowned on the field. Yeah, because his mom was because di- Drake was having sex with his mom. <laughs> Imagine you're that kid though, dude. That's so funny. I wouldn't even yeah. care. Like, I, he's like supposed to be friends with him though. Supposed to be friends with Drake? Yeah, everyone thought Amari Bailey and Drake were friends before that, like all that stuff came out. Oh, really? Yeah, because they kind of are. So he's basically friends with this. Can he just be friends? Has, does he have any friends his own age? Drake or Amari Bailey? Drake. Or does he just hang out with children? <laughs> I don't. Dude, uh, quote me right now. Drake is the next Michael Jackson. Oh no! Twenty years down the line, it'll be leaving Toronto. He's documentary. Ma- <laughs> 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 or escaping t- Toronto, whatever the name is of the Michael Jackson documentary. Escaping Neverland. Yeah. He's made a, uh, he's made a, he's had a bar referencing that something something about not being Neverland. It was oh like, yeah, wait in the I don't remember in which the song or Rico. Which, maybe I don't remember. I'll have to re-listen to it. The King of Pop. I'm leaving, building Never Neverland. Yeah, I hate yeah, me yeah. when I never met the man. Yeah. Whoa. yeah. Yeah. That song went hard. Meek it Mill does. and Drake. I also just found that song. <laughs> really? <laughs> like a couple months ago. I was like, this is kind of sick. You were a couple years late on that one. I'm buddy. I'm usually I'm light years late on everything, dude. Okay, what year do you think was the best of music? I gotta go oh, with 2018. Yeah. 2018. Let's go through what came out in 2018 again. Astroworld. Taboo. Taboo. Scorpion. Scorpion. Um, goodbye and good riddance. Mm-hmm. 
Damn. Um, Daytona from Pusha T. Oh, that album's sick, dude. That's like, I feel like that album didn't get enough credit for how dope it was. Yeah. Kanye produced. KOD came out. KOD was sick. Everything is Love from Jay-Z and Beyonce. DiCaprio 2. DiCaprio 2. If you guys are like, I feel like nobody talks about that album either. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> if you guys are like fans of rap rap. Like rap rap, DiCaprio 2 is a sick album. Um, Redemption from J Rock, Championships from Meek Mill, Victory Lap, Nipsey Hustle, Kids See Ghost, Yay, Drip Harder from Gunna and Baby, Ta- we already said Taboo, Culture did, 2. Did Championships come out like super late in that year? I think so. Because I think I it was in it was the 2019 Grammys, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, the Carter Five, <clears throat> s- some rap songs from Earl Sweatshirt. Some rap songs, one of the sickest albums ever. It was. Kamikaze from Eminem. Kamikaze. I love Kamikaze. That shit was ass. There's honestly some dope songs. Have you ever heard the one song that's normal? <laughs> I just want you to be normal. <laughs> Why can't these be normal? Uh, Die Lit from Cardi. Always trying to be so extra. That was 2018. Yep. That's a cool album. Beer Bongs and Bentleys. That was a pretty good album. Beer Bongs is a sick album. Yeah. Um, what else? Mud Boy from Sheck West. Check what? I'm dying. Check what? Young check what? And I'm really okay. So 2018 was a pretty solid year. Um, Very solid year. Look up 2016 um, albums because I Uzi dropped for some reason. I know Redbone and Blonde off the top of my head. Ravish dropped. Uh, the Life of Pablo. Life coloring of Pablo. book. Yeah. Blank Face LP from Schoolboy Q. Mm. Uh, Is that the black one? Uh, the black and white album cover where he has a mask on? No, it's oh. like red. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Untitled Unmastered from Kendrick. Oh, have you heard that album? I have not. You what need to did, listen to that What album. year did Damn come out then? That it was after that. It was 2017. Okay, that had to be but 2017. But that album is good. So it's like the... <laughs> It's I feel I think it's like the um the ones that got cut from To Pip and Butterfly. Oh, okay. But there's one song on there, I think it's Untitled Six, and it's like one of the prettiest like songs. It has CeeLo Green and it's so good. But yeah. Anyways. What else came out in twenty sixteen? Um Kevin Gates released. Kevin Gates. Yeah, Bird. I only know the two song two yeah. phone song. Birds in the Trap sing McKnight. I don't Travis. think I've listened to that in full. That album is really good. Only heard Views Goosebumps. from Drake. Still Brazy from YG. Evolve from Future. Everybody Looking from Gucci Mane. <laughs> Shrem Life 2 from Ray Shremmer. For Your Eyes Only from J. Shrem Cole. Life. Oh, yeah. For Your Eyes Only is sick. Malibu from Anderson Pack. I haven't listened to that. Beyonce Lemonade. <laughs> I, I haven't listened to Lemonade either. And people, I remember people were talking hype about that. Rihanna, to it? Uh, Rihanna dropped. Riri, was Slime. that the the anti album? Yeah, Slime Season Three, Jeffrey, Metro Boom, or er, Savage Mode from Metro, Metro Boomin. Boomin I know Boomin. Uzi dropped. Just what did he release? Hold on. So I would, I don't know. I don't even know that many of those albums to be honest. Yeah, 2018 definitely gets the top. Or it's definitely the top for me. Mm, yeah, I'd have to go with the same same 2018. But I but we were talking about this last night because we think 2021 might go down in history. 2020 definitely. It or could, 2021, yeah. It could potentially be one of the best years of music if yeah. if uh, who were we saying Kendrick and Travis? Kendrick Kendrick and Travis drop. Which if by will. some miracle you think. Like, what's the chances Travis drops Utopia? He said he was he said he was gonna drop it before. Um, oh yeah, yeah. The summer was over. I feel like he's for sure gonna drop it before Astro World Fest, which is beginning of November. Okay, because he wants to perform it. Okay. Um, the perfect love tape, Blues vs. the World, both came out um, in 2016 as well. I actually don't think Kendrick will drop this year. Probably not. It'll probably be early next year. Yeah. Dang it, dude. Um. But we'll count whole lot of red. Yeah. So this whole year. Lot of red. Because that was Christmas. So yeah, was we counted. Six days early. Whole lot of red. Tyler's album. Tyler's album. Brockhampton's album was pretty good. Brockhampton. Uh, obviously Donda. Certified Lover Certified Boy. Certified Lover out. Boy. What if that album is just so bad? It probably will be just There's horrible. no way. Well, who else dropped? Culture Three dropped. I don't listen to Migos. Migos is. Quavo. Offset. I have a cousin that listens to Migos, and I make fun of him for it. Take off. Offset. Oh, ooh, Sour ooh, dropped ooh. Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, yeah. We love Olivia Rodrigo around these parts, don't we, Tyson? Yep. Slime Language 2 from Young Thug. 
No, um, Soulfly from Rod Wave, The Off Season from J. Cole. Oh, I never listened to The Off Season. Mm. Sorry, J. Cole fans. <laughs> um, Shiesty Season from Pooh <laughs> Shiesty. I don't know. Listen to him. Destined to Win from Lil TJ. I don't listen to him. Uh, Michigan Boy Boat from Yachty. I don't listen to like Yachty. I don't listen to that much rap, I guess. Sweetie dropped, I guess. Sweetie, is that the girl that Jack Harlow flirted with that one time? Yeah, that's Quavo's ex. Quavo! <laughs> Quavo! Dude, I have Jack Harlow's babies. Okay, this year is kind of mid. <laughs> no, it's not, dude. Take uh, it back. You know, other than those albums. Oh, 24K Golden released. Eldorado. And then Iggy Azalea. <laughs> Iggy Azalea goes fucking hard, dude. I don't care what you say. Anyways, Anyways, we got to wrap this up. Yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, Tyson's going to go to the gym because he's hot and sexy and wants to go work on his physique so he can <sighs> keep pulling in the ladies. And I'm going to sit around here or something. Okay, uh, thanks for listening, guys. Let us know what your favorite year of music is in the comments below. Yeah. Yeah, let us know what your favorite year of music in the comments below is. It's really uh, something really that we care about. Uh, but for real, drop a review, dude. I've saw some so nice reviews on my on my Apple podcast. Thank you guys uh, who are dropping those. Comment, like, follow Tyson. Give us a um, kiss or something. Love follow Styluted on Instagram. Follow Styluted. It's blowing up soon. We're dropping some new stuff on Styluted. Not we, him. Yeah. I'm not yeah. in it. Sorry. Clothes, shirts, hats, maybe a beanie. Who knows? Deuces. Later.